A O T spot P L I N D blind spot blind spot is intentionally left blank I have never completely seen myself I have only seen my image I am myself's blind spot the king blind spot the stock on blind spot the word blind spot quite literally is its own blind spot if a talk is supposed to express something about blind spot it is a self blind talk how is it going to be a blind spot if i am able to talk about it aren't blind spots supposed to be not accessible so this talk is blind to itself the emphasis is not to talk about it we shall value not doing it let us again consider the sentence this spot is intentionally left blank the very expression of this no longer leaves the spot blank this sentence is blind to itself in mathematics the number 0 why its symbolic expression is a blind spot to itself the number 0 is supposed to be representing something that does not exist the very fact that we can write it express it out no longer leaves it as something that does not exist hence it is its own blind spot another counting number say 1 is a representation of an object which exists saying one apple we may trace back the apple which is being represented by the number 1 similarly for the counting number 2 we can trace back the apple and the other apple which are being represented by the number 2 however for the number 0 no such thing can be done so we must carefully examine and value the things that cannot be done In logic, the expression of this comes about in 1931 Gödel's incompleteness theorem, Part B of which is closed. What we have: a consistent system cannot show its own consistency. This is based on a sentence such as, "This part is intentionally left blank," but the logical value. So this English sentence shall be translated into a. logic sentence the logic sentence to consider is this sentence is false let us explore how we are to give a logical value of to it either true or false if the sentence is given true then this sentence is false is true well then true is this sentence is false So we started with the sentence which, if true, leads us then to the conclusion that it is false, not consistent. Let us try the other way. If the logic sentence is false, then this sentence is false is not true. Then true is that this sentence is not false, so it must be true. Again, we started with. logic sentence is false then conclude that the logic sentence is true this is not consistent since if we start with a true value then we end up getting a false value if we start with a false value we end up getting a true value let us take another perspective based on a physical setting let us consider a place with people person a person b person c of whom one is a barber the condition is that the barber shaves person precisely if the person does not shave themselves let us consider the barber's dilemma to shave or not to shave themselves in the logical setting the can the sentence translates as barber shave themselves now let us explore how are we to give a logical value either true or false to this logic sentence if the sentence is given true value then the barber shave themselves is true then according to the condition the person being shaved shall not be 
sharing themselves. The person here is the barber. So then true is that barber not shave themselves. So we started if the sentence is given true value, then we conclude that the barber is not shaving. So the sentence is false. Let us try the other way. If the logic sentence is false, then the barber not shave themselves is true. But the barber is a person and a person will not shave themselves according to the condition must have the barber shave the person, which is themselves. So then true is that the barber shaved himself. So if we start with a false value given to this logic sentence, then we conclude that this must be true. So no consistent logic value may be assigned to this. In these cases, we cannot give a distinguished truth value consistently to the sentence. This sentence is a blind spot of logic. What is the blind spot behind the blind spot? Remember, I am myself's blind spot. Well, then we shall question self-interaction. How is it possible to interact with the self if it is a blind spot? How can I refer to myself if I have never completely seen myself? Is a blind spot being invoked and talked about? How can, in this case, how can a person shave himself? The condition stated above is that the barber shaves a person precisely when the person does not shave themselves. Well, the bar barber is also a person. In fact, the barber was originally a person before taking up the functional identity of a barber. That's every person must be treated on the same footing now. And a person in general may take up the barber identity or a person may exclusively adopt a customer identity who does not do the act of shaving. And these are exclusive. The barber identity who is in the act of shaving will be in blue box. And the customer identity which is not in the act of shaving will be in this purple box. The customer is sitting in purple and the barber is standing in blue. Let us now reconsider the condition person adopts the Barber shaves person precisely when person not shaved himself. Well, translated in terms of the person adopting a particular identity. The first half, barber shave person, translates as the person adopts barber identity standing in blue for a person who adopts customer identity sitting in purple. Well, the second half, Person not shave themselves translates to person does not adopt the barber identity, given that the person has adopted the customer identity sitting in purple. Well, this is true by definition of the distinguished identity. If a person were to shave themselves, the same person would have to adopt both the Barber identity and the customer identity, which is contradictory. Hence, reinforcing that the person cannot shave themselves. So, what really happens in the usual experience of shaving themselves? Person has to adopt the customer identity sitting in purple at the same time as adopting the identity which is only possible if given the adoption of one identity a part of the person's self is sacrificed to adopt the other distinguished identity. This is a birth process in which one self divides into two parts, resulting as mother and child. This necessarily requires going blind to the self. 
here the one self is partitioned into two distinct parts a hand which adopts the private identity in blue and the rest of the self which adopts the customer identity in purple thus it is not the person sharing themselves but one part of the self sharing the remaining part of the self this is exemplified by observing that the hand cannot share itself in the very extreme the tip of the hand with the blade cannot act on itself so a part of the self has to go blind to the other identity in order to interact with it i am myself's blind spot Let us reconsider the sentence. Barber shaves himself, which translates as partition of the barber into a part of the barber, which and adopts the barber identity, who shaves the remaining part of the barber, which adopts the customer identity. If this sentence is given. the value true then the barber must partition into a part of the barber who shares the remaining part of the barber is true then true is according to the condition the remaining part of the barber does not share himself which is satisfied it's consistent as the remaining part of the barber has adopted the customer identity let us see the other way if the sentence is given the value false then partition of a barber into a part of the barber who shares the remaining part of the barber is not true no part of the barber partitioning is consistent with the usual notion of barber does not shave himself so there is no partition of the barber in this case this sets the barber free hence resolving the barber dilemma so we see the start the blind spot is space in assuming that it is possible for a person to shave themselves it is implicit that a person may simultaneously be in both the identities the act of shearing as barber and the act of sitting as a customer that is the inability to see two distinct spaces in this case the being blind is not being able to distinguish between identities in the logic setting the corresponding existence of distinguished identities is to be seen the symbols in a sentence may adopt a sentence identity or to or the value identity in blue so the original sentence is being partitioned into a part which adopts the value identity and the remaining part which adopts the sentence identity that is reconsider the sentence this sentence is false if this sentence is given the value true then this sentence is false is value true then true is this sentence is false these are symbols taking the sentence identity there is no more meaning to these symbols other than that they are part of a sentence the word false to be transitioning into a separate value identity needs sacrificing of the sentences part to the other identity by going blind to one part of this whole self so the sentence is now original sentence get partitioned into a 
part which adopts the value identity and the remaining part of the sentence, which is then valued false. It's not the original sentence anymore. This is a new, only two word sentence. So the original sentence has no change in the truth value. It's only the remaining part of the sentence, which is now valued as false. Similarly, the other way, if the sentence is given the value false, then this sentence is false, is value not true. Then true is that this sentence is not false. This is again the original sentence being partitioned into a remaining part and a value part. So the remaining part of the logic sentence is valued as true, not the original one. So this is consistently giving a logic value. We talked about blind spot. If, what about time? Why should we go blind to time? Instead of going blind to time, truth may also be taken to be temporal. Truth can have distinguished values based on the time. For example, the sentence, this spot is intentionally left blank, initially expresses the blankness of the spot. But in the process of self-reflecting and expressing this out, it finally leads to the spot no longer left blank. Similarly, in the logical setting, starting with the logical value, say initially true, is a temporary value to be considered, which in the process of exploring the self may finally lead to a false value. This gives a different notion of temporal consistency in which the previously considered blind spot does not arise. We considered blind spot space, time, whose essence is the fact that I am blind to myself. I am myself blind spot. A blind spot is indeed a gift as it is essential to the creation or birth of a distinguished identity and interaction with it, just as in the birth of a mother and child from oneself. Thank you. The remaining part of this talk is intentionally left blank.